Hi, my friends. Welcome to Miss Woodward Reads. Here I am in my classroom, in my computer lab. Hi to my Beekman Town Eagles. I am thinking about spring, so I picked out a book for you today called Rain. I know winter is just starting to melt away, but when we think about spring, I know I think about rain and jumping in puddles and wearing my rain boots and my raincoat and having lots of fun outside in the springtime weather. So Rain is written by Linda Ashman and illustrated by Christian Robinson. You see here, it's raining outside. And we see on this page that this fellow is saying, rain, and he looks angry. And then our friend over here says, rain, with an exclamation point, and he looks excited. So something can be happening, the same thing to two different people, but it's all about how we think about it. I can either think about rain being, ugh, rain, what a crummy day, or I can think, rain, what a beautiful day. It's all how we think about things, my friends. Now here's our older fellow. Nasty galoshes, blasted overcoat. There goes my hair. And here's our younger friend. Is it raining cats and dogs? It's raining frogs and pollywogs. Hippity hop. Who do we think is in the better mood? This person over here or our friend over here? I think he's in a better mood. He has a smile on his face. He's using exclamation points in his the way he's writing and talking. A friend over here has a frown. And he looks like he's having a hard day already. <clears throat> Good morning, sir. Hardly. Ugh, puddles. Good morning, young man. Ribbit. Enjoy your paper. <laughs> just more bad news. I don't think he's having a very good day. He looks kind of upset. How could he make his day better? Could he just start thinking happy thoughts? How are you, Mr. Frog? Happy, happy, happy. We see our friends are smiling because they're seeing how happy he is. Sometimes when we smile and we're happy, it's contagious. Everybody loves to smile and be happy. And when we smile and are happy, sometimes we give our happiness to others. Finally, we're here. Coffee, black. Cocoa and cookies, please. If you notice, our friend over here, he didn't use any manners. But our friend here, he said, please. Look at his face. I can tell he's not in a good mood. Let's look at our friend's face over here. He says, yum, and his mom says, delicious. Watch out. Sorry. Ribbit. And then he just walked away. Mm, that kind of made him feel like he was in a bad mood now. His hat. He doing? He's picking up the hat. He's taking it with him out of the cafe. Hey, wait! You? You! Now what's he doing? giving the man his hat back. Look at the man's face. Is he happier? That one too? Mine. And then he puts on his frog hat. Ribbit? Did you notice that he gave the older fellow his cookie? Look at his face now. Yum. 
I think he's in a better mood. And then our friend over here is waving to him. Sometimes when we're in a really good mood and we can see somebody's in a not so good mood, we can share our good feelings and make them feel happier. Welcome back, sir. Ribbit! Is he having fun in the rain now? He's seeing the rain as being fun and happy instead of sad and making the day bad. One little thing can turn around somebody's whole day. So make sure if you see somebody having a tough time, give them a smile and share your happiness. Thanks, my Beacon Town Eagles.